Sebastian Miller Martinez MMA Unit here in Liverpool for UFC 130 with none other than Maquan, Mr. Finland, Amir Khani. So, Maquan, it's been a little while since we saw you last time. Uh, things didn't perhaps go as, as planned uh, in your last fight. You saw, you know, the first loss in uh, for, for quite a while. Uh, how hard was that to bounce back from? It was hard, I have to admit. Losing is not easy, especially when you put your heart and your mind, everything into it. Like I said, it was tough, but I'm back and I'm here, I'm ready to fight again. It's often said that you learn more from a loss than you do from a win. And is that something you can reflect on and perhaps agree upon? And if so, what have you learned? 100%, I agree with that. Uh, I just knew that I need to be more prepared. My cardio, my striking, boxing, kick, everything. Everything was in a level that it shouldn't be. That's why I had to take time off and just train and train more and more. And it was good that I took this time off because now I feel more happy and ready. So I'm, I'm going to show you Sunday why I needed that time. And your, your opponent who you're lost against, Arnold Allen, is actually fighting on the card as well. Does that in some way sort of motivate you thinking like, okay, you see him, you see the guy who got the win, you got to rise above it or anything like that? No. Not actually. It was a tough fight against him. That's past. I don't look. I don't think I look at that fight anymore. Um, my eyes is the future, and now I don't look at the past. So, whatever happened that night in London, it was a. In another city, in another country, this decision could be different, and. I'm thinking about Jason Knight. He's on my, my way. He's the guy that I will beat. And whoever will step in front of me next, he will be a victim too. Well, yeah, like you said, next stop, Jason Knight. Uh, you know, a pretty, I think you could perhaps say underrated guy. You know, he's you know a solid fighter with some good wins, but doesn't necessarily have the biggest name recognition. Uh, and there's a little bit of a beef between you guys as well. Could you uh, sort of elaborate on uh, you know some of the hard feelings between you guys? Nothing personal. Like the guy just is on my way. Um, my goals are for, uh, bigger than him, and he is in my way, and I just have to eliminate him. And I would have the same feeling against anybody who would be in front of me. It's it's not just because it's Jason Knight. He's my opponent. No hard feeling because I'm gonna break his face. And uh, looking at him as an opponent stylistically, uh, where do you see him as, you know, where do you feel are his biggest strengths? As, you know, things that you maybe, you know, want to keep a little eye on, watch out for? There is none. He has a rubber guard, but if I would be a coach, I wouldn't teach rubber guard to my athlete in MMA. It's a pretty bad place to be when strikes and elbows and everything is loud. So that is probably his strength, but every time you are on, a, on your back, you're losing. All right, well, consequentially, then, what do you feel is your biggest advantage in this fight? Everything. Yeah, yeah everything. I feel happy. That's my biggest advantage. Well, I mean, I, I can tell you, look, you're, you're in good spirits, stuff like that. Do, you know, do you feel like you're a fighter who is a little sort of like very influenced by your emotions and the way you're feeling? I think all the training that I have done and this last camp that I did for this fight, I think that is the main reason why I feel like this training everything went so well no injuries my weight can't went well I just feel totally prepared for this one and so coming back you know you said you've worked on a lot of things and uh, you know you mentioned you know some stuff that's you know you needed to work on a bit what is this you know this new mock on what your fans expect from your big triumphant return on Sunday mean that yeah, that would describe me well. 
All right. Well, I guess we'll let the fighting do the rest of the talking, and I'm sure fans will be looking forward to it when Makwan Amerikani takes on Jason.